Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever you may be. I am Mezzo9, and welcome once again to my Magic Quarry Mezzanine. Now, I know it's been a while since we've been here, and I've got a few reasons for that. Firstly, I wasn't actually sure what to do next. I've done most of the, the uh, early bits that I wanted to, and I was running on dribs and drabs of stuff to do. And also, I wanted to see if I could sort out this lag before I came back. And um, I've done a few things to sort that out. I've cleaned up a few, uh, chopped down a few of the um, silverwood trees in the area. I've uh, destroyed the aura nodes within them. You can see from here, there's no silverwoods, very few aura nodes, because I've got plenty in my base now. My one's fully charged from them anyway. That's good enough for me. Also, I've shut down all but one of my golems, because extra entities means extra processor power needed, and I've turned off my sorting system when it's not in use. I think I might have left the one outside on, but that's fine. So, the one thing that I wanted to do left that was left to kill the lag also gives me something to do to show you. Um, I think that a cause of it might be that massive tainted biome I've got. Let's see if I can bring it up on the map for you. Wrong map button. All the way over here. I'm sure all of this is causing some sort of lag at the very least. So, I want to clean that up. But that's going to take more than one episode. Because, aside from anything else, I'm going to need to keep my source of the uh, taint essential. I need it. Mostly for ethereal blooms to clean it up. So, I'm going to be making myself a new source of that in a new dimension. Which is going to require mistcraft. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So, <clears throat> we're going to make the three main blocks for mistcraft. I'm going to pick a room to put them in. There's probably one upstairs somewhere. Let's just quickly have a look. Yeah, nice empty room here. That'll do perfectly. I've got all the ingredients I need with me. And then I'm going to make a few Mistcraft books for which I haven't got the ingredients with me and show you one or two more staff cores because I've prepared the ingredients for those as well. If you remember, I wanted to make the staff core of the prime Not what staff cores? Wand rods. I wanted to make the staff core of the primal, which takes all of the advanced wand rods. But before that, I've got to show you the ink mixer, the book binder, and the writing desk for Mistcraft. For those of you that may not be sure what Mistcraft is, it's basically a mod that adds in a few extra dimensions. Well, as many extra dimensions as you want to create. You use books to create a new dimension. A new world to explore. And they can have all sorts of different modifiers. Or they can just be randomised. And you have to be able to get the modifiers to use them. So, for now, they're just going to be randomised. Now, I've got the ingredient counts in my list, but I'm not sure I can remember the recipes off the top of my head. So let's start with the ink mixer. I seem to remember it had something like that. It takes five stone, two wood planks, and a bottle. I need to make the bottles. Ah, oh, disorganised today. I'm also going to need a bottle for the writing desk. So let's, let, uh, we make them three at a time. But I'm also going to need bottles to put the ink in. So, yes, let's make a few of them. So, I'm going to... If I remember correctly, that's the shape that the stone goes in, and I'm going to assume that the planks go there. Since the only ingredient left is a bottle, it's going to go either there... Oh, there it is! Right there in the middle. So there's the five stone, there's the two wood planks, and natura does work, which is lovely, because most of my wood is natura, the eucalyptus. And that makes us the ink mixer, which is one of the three blocks we're going to need. Next, we need a book binder, which takes three iron and five wood. Five wood planks. I think that's like this. There we go. There's the five wood planks in the table shape, and three iron ingots across the top to make the book binder. It has been a while since I've used this mod. So, so the recipes are a little off the top of my head. Uh, the writing desk I can remember, though, if I can remember which way around the feather and bottle go. Again, five wood in the table shape. Feather in the... Uh, bottle in the top left, feather in the top right. And the other two spots empty, and that makes you your writing desk. Now we're going to need to place these. And we've already picked out the room, so let's head up there. It's this side. 
Uh, I'll do the writing desk in the middle, just... No, it's not going to place like that, it places like that there we go and it takes up two blocks and they've changed the skin for it that's interesting <coughs> and then i'll put the book binder and the ink mixer to the left of it and i've got two slots to the right which i don't know if i'm gonna need but i might now let's have a quick look in here and remind myself of what i need so writing desk this t shows you all the pages that you've acquired and each page can only be used once if i remember correctly to make a book and you just store them in there and I can't remember exactly how this works I'll have to experiment a little as I'm using it uh, the ink mixer is where you make blank pages for linking link pages they're called and I think you need to fill these with bottles of ink rather than just ink which is a little annoying but we can do that I've got a stack of ink with me for that purpose and then the book binder is where you make your books as is logical now, I've got three books that I want to make. I want to make a notebook, I want to make a link book, and I want to make a, uh, I think they're called adventure books or something like that. Let's just check on any eye. Book. What types of book are... Oh, crap, there's a load of types of book. Oh, here they are. Notebook, linking book, and descriptive book. Now, unfortunately, it hasn't told me the recipes for these in the NEI. It won't tell me because it doesn't use an NEI compatible block. It uses the book binder. But, if I remember correctly, and is rather obvious, I need leather and paper. So let's just quickly head into here and grab some leather, and hope that I've got enough. And grab some paper, probably in there. No, I might have to go and actually chop down some straw. Not straw. Why straw? Where did straw come from? Is there even straw in this game? I don't think so. Chop down some of the... Where has my word gone? These things. Sugar cane. Thank you very much, Whaler. So let's just harvest some of this sugar cane. And use that to make the paper I need. And I'll plant a bit more as well. Because I'm going to start needing a lot of paper now. As is the nature of Mistcraft. I probably had some paper somewhere. In fact, now that I think about it, there's some paper in the unsortables chest. Just stuff that's not in the sorting system yet. And I'll go and grab that on my way down as well. 21 paper, lovely amount to have, since 3... Uh, not paper, so 21 sugar cane. Since 3 sugar cane makes paper. So that'll make an exact amount and not leave me with leftovers. Not a big fan of leftovers unless I'm eating. I don't know if I've mentioned this before, it's um, altered it so that the crafting stations can now grab straight from chests, which is lovely and helpful. Perhaps not immediately helpful, but helpful nonetheless. <coughs> Next we need... What did we... Oh, I wanted to check the... Um, in here for some more paper. Yep, yeah, another ten pieces. Brilliant! Up we go with my 31 paper, and into my new mist room, which needs a sign at some point, but I can do that later. You know, when I'm not recording. Now, let's try and remember where these go. I think the paper goes in here. Yes, it does. And the leather goes in here. Don't forget, I'm using dried zombie meat for leather, rather than cow hides, because I'm not going to kill any cows unless I have to, and I don't have to. Wouldn't want Fred, Bess, or Daisy to get hurt. Now, where's my nearest supply of water, because that's the next thing I need. I might need a few more bottles as well, now that I think about it. In fact, I might need a lot more bottles. So, let's just make a bunch more bottles. 22 should be plenty to last me a while and then just fill them with water from this infinite source and that's going to fill up my inventory isn't it <sighs> well i'm done with the wood i'm done with the iron and i'm done with the stone oh i had the exact right number of slots that's coincidental either that or i've dropped some and not picked it up Where's the lift? 
Oh, I'm on the top floor. <laughs> Silly me. So. Let's try and remember how you do this. Is it just like that? No. Let's use any eye again, then. Ink vial is what I'm trying to make, because that's what fuels the, um... What do I call it? Ah, it takes two ink for, per vial. I see. Ink mixer, I think, the whatchamacallit is actually called. And unlike the water bottles, these will actually stack, which is pretty handy. Mostly because you need a ton of them, which is why I've grabbed so much water. And so much ink. Uh, this is going to take me a while, isn't it? Alright, I will be back in a moment. All right, folks, that was nice and quick. <laughs> Not. Um, God, how well dated is that? So, the ink vials only stack up to 16, but that should be all right, because I think they will empty as I put them in here, giving me back a bottle, and if I use the ink now, I can grab a link panel. It seems to take one bottle per link panel, and I'll want a few link panels. I can't just shift-click them, which is a little annoying, but I can shift-click the bottles. All right. There we go. Now I can just drop the other stack in, and that'll be fine. I'm sure I've got plenty of link panels now. So next we need to put them into here, I believe. One link panel and a leather will make me the descriptive book I was looking for, but there is no chance I'm going to use that without a linking book. How do I make the linking books again? Of course they're not going to have a usage on there. It's Mistcraft. Damn it, one minute segment. I'm not happy with that, but I've got to quickly check the wiki. Hate doing that as well, but oh well. See you in a mo. Alright, according to the wiki, link books are actually simpler than I realised. I don't need the book binder for them at all. I still need the same ingredients as the descriptive book. But... Rather than being bound, it's a shapeless pattern, and that gives me an unlinked link book. It's unlinked because you've got to link it before it'll do anything. So, to link it, you just look at a spot and right-click, and now it's linked to that spot. So, in the future, if I read that book, it will bring me right back to stood here looking out this doorway. And that's going to be really helpful. You'll understand everything I'm on about in a moment if you don't already. Where did I put that? It's in here, isn't it? Wood. Because I want to have a crafting table here. In fact, crafting station, because they are a ton better. I am going to need some sticks. Four is perfect. And I'm going to need two of these book stands. That's a plank and two sticks in that lovely little V-shape. Nice and easy. <coughs> that makes one, and I did it twice. Just to confirm for you guys. And I'm going to put one of them... Here looks good. And on that I'm going to place this descriptive book. I'm not going to use it just yet. Because I'm going to want to bring some blocks with me. The moment I use that, it's going to teleport me into a new dimension. <sighs> a special dimension that I've made and will be completely random. So I have no idea what's going to be there until I get there. And need to make sure I've got my way home. Never go through a portal without a linking book. And in fact, it's probably a good idea for me to grab a second linking book, a spare linking book. Just in case I lose this one somehow. And a bunch of blocks, because linking books can be damaged by direct sunlight, by rain, by snow, by thunder. And it can break the books, and next time you visit, no book. So, I need to make a shelter for my book. Let's just quickly make my second linking book. I don't need to grab a fresh page, because there's plenty in here. And we're going to link this one to the same spot again to teleport us back to here, should we need to. <coughs> Normally, when you use one of these books, just 
open it up and click on that and you'll teleport there I can't teleport here because I'm already in that dimension so ignore it but when you use it it'll drop on the ground and take damage even more easily but in these book stands it will just stay there forever you know unless it takes too much damage if it's on the ground it just takes damage over time naturally if it's on a book stand it only takes damage from weather and stuff sunlight well weather yeah open air now i think i'm fully prepared two linking books a uh, spare book stand some building blocks and a bit of food that should be plenty and i've got my weapons with me but let's just see if i've got anything else i need in here should be fine and switch this to a combat wand cap let's go fire oh no fire thank you and so we just right right click on the book stand and we go into this screen this is the link uh, the descriptive book here and you can take it out and you can put it back in and you can take it out and you can replace it with a different book but book stands won't go in there because that's not what I meant to grab there we go and then if you click this black bit here it will teleport you to the new age as it calls them wherever that may be it'll take a minute to um, load because it's still got to create the dimension and here we are something sounds slimy something sounds very slimy these trees look a bit weird there's a lot of biomes of plenty stuff which will be great for my thermometer random little bushes bit of foliage oh well I'm very glad that I've got my um thermostatic harness uh, that's not gonna work while I'm holding my wand I need to remember that but otherwise I'd be a little bit stuck down here ah why is the zombie not taking damage? Probably because he's in the water and I'm using a fire cap. Let's give him a zap then. Yeah! Oh crap, another one. Oh, I like your hat. I want it. Oh, it's a character hat. Try not to use them. <clears throat> anyway, let's get out of this hole. Using my thermostatic harnish. Oh. It's mana elemental. So this is certainly a lot more dangerous than home, although that might just be because it's not really populated yet. And it's raining quite heavily, which is unpleasant. And there's zombies everywhere. It's night at the moment. I don't know if that's going to last forever, because it can in these wor worlds. I hear slimes. Where are they? Oh, there it is. And it gave me a hat. Lovely. Enjoying the new hats. grab these experience orbs I'm not gonna go too far because I don't want to get completely lost that will be a nightmare although I think that's already starting oh there we are just gonna cover up this hole as well otherwise I'm just gonna keep falling into it I'm gonna build a little shelter for my book to go in right over where we teleport to you can stay down there Mr. Zomb not the one I just killed that one down there sealed up forever well probably not forever but you know use my flight to make this a little easier this is why I love Thamcraft and apparently why a lot of people don't. Oh! Oh, you're a big zombie. Not going to get me up here, though. Yeah. Still not taking any fall damage. Because of my thermostatic harnish. Love that thing. So basically what I've managed to show you this episode is how to get to another dimension and back safely using Mistcraft. And this is going to go on to 
looking for a tainted dimension and other sorts of dimensions that are all going to be helpful to me in the future because you can get all sorts from these dimensions and then once I've found my tainted dimension I'm going to clean up the taint biome back at home don't really need walls on this but the roof is certainly important to protect me from this constant rain Certainly no sign of morning yet, and there's a bit of lightning going on, and there's a creeper right there. Oh, I just built that! Is that quicksand? That's no, mud. No! You're not meant to be able to get out! Get back down there! Yeah! Bitch! No! Screw you, Karma. You can get down there and all. Enjoy captivity. Oh. I appear to have run out of bricks. Um. We can put some glass over it. That's fine. Now when the sun comes, you shall burn for a moment and then have to jump back in the water to save your lives. Fix this pillar. Ish. <laughs> and then let's just put down a book stand so we can go home. Because I don't like this place. Now. To get more specific dimensions. And we can have a look at the pages that are in this now I think. But to get more specific dimensions you'll need to collect the pages for them. Oh uh, we can't can't have a look. Oh, no, I didn't mean to... I didn't even know you could do that in one of them. How do I pick this up? Get away from me. Why did the linking book fall out of the stand? I don't understand. Oh, that was in the rain a moment too long. Zombs. Okay, I think we need to seal this up a little bit better than this. <clears throat> I didn't mean to place this glass box over there, but I don't particularly care. And let's head home again. Hopefully safely this time. The descriptive book's gone as well. Oh, I left it in the table, didn't I? Age 2. Well, I'm going to rename that to Nightland. Or Nyland, that's fine as well. Yay, typos! Stick that back in the stand, and I think we're done for today. So. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope it's a little bit informative on Mistcraft, which I'm a little rusty with, as you could probably tell. But I'm going to be uh, picking my skills back up quite quickly, because it's not a particularly complicated mod, once you understand it. And I'll see you all next time, where I'll be trying to find a library in that dimension we created today. See you then. Bye.